Now, we also spoke with the Ministry of Health's Deputy Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Delon Brennan, on the matter today. He says while investigations continue into the episode in Bimini, his team is now re-evaluating its protocols, particularly on the family islands. I think our system has its challenges, and in that instance, I think transportation may have caused a little bit of a slowdown in our ability to appropriately respond in in a time manner that the healthcare providers would have would have liked to. Not, not just that incident, but I think that is something that happens across the board mm -hmm. for when we want to move a patient, you know, it doesn't always happen. The minute you say you want to move them, that patient doesn't move right away. If you're in New Providence, you can call an ambulance. And for the most part, that ambulance shows up within a few minutes and you can get them to a higher level of care. When you're on a family island, you may, it may be hours. It may be you know, almost days sometimes before you can really move a patient. That may be weather related, it may be you know, transportation arrangements, may be payment related. There are lots of reasons why. Now, Dr. Brennan acknowledges the health challenges which exist on the family islands, which restrict the delivery of a high level of health care. He says Ministry of Health officials will now focus on strengthening public and private linkages to combat COVID-19. You know, what happened in, in the Bahamas is we've had to shut down a lot of our transportation modes. So inner island transport is currently at a halt. Mm -hmm. And so the difficulty with that is even in a medical emergency, you have to find the appropriate permissions to be able to move people, <clears throat> cargo, equipment back and forth to be able to take care of people, patients. Um, and so what we need to do is make sure that now that we've identified what a challenge could be, we need to know who our partners are and whether that's like was using this, you know, in some of our instances, Ministry of National Security, you know, the police force, the defense force, um, and other agencies in the private sector, you know, to be able to make sure those linkages are fully established ahead of time.